everybody, today we're going to be reporting our Dracaena marginata together. The first thing that we're going to look for is signs that our plant needs repotting and the first one is going to be on the leaves. If you're giving adequate watering to your Dracaena, so this means that you're watering regularly and waiting for the soil to be partially dry before you water again, but the leaves are droopy still most of the time, this may be a sign that your plant needs more space in the roots. And the other signs are in the roots. The first thing that we can look for in the roots is if they are growing on top of the potting mix. This is a very good sign that our plant needs repotting. And there are other signs, for example, we can look down at the bottom of the pot and if the roots are growing down through the drainage holes, this is another very telling sign that our plants may need more space to grow. The last thing we can do is to take our plant out of the pot and see if the roots are growing around the potting mix. And this is a very good sign that our plant needs a bigger pot. So let's get to our pot now. In terms of material of our pots, we have many different options and the most common ones are terracotta and plastic. When it comes to our plant care, one of the main difference between these two is that plastic is not porous and terracotta is porous. This will mean that the soil in plastic will stay moist for longer periods of time and terracotta will actually dry out more quickly. Now, both options have their pros and cons, so if you want to learn more about pots and see which one is the right one for you, make sure to check out my video on pots. But now let's get to our pot. I'm going to be using a terracotta pot because I love terracotta and I'm trying to reduce my use of plastic. And let's talk about the size. And what I always recommend is that you go maximum one to two sizes bigger. You don't want to go bigger because this may be too shocking for the plant. And also you may risk overwatering your plant. And what kind of potting mix are we using for a Dracaena? I got you. So let's get to the dirt. For my Dracaena marginata today, I'm going to be using seven parts of coconut coir. I love coconut coir because it's a great material for moisture retention and at the same time it doesn't compress so much when it dries out, which is great to maintain our potting mix fluffy and to make sure that the water can get through the potting mix into the roots. When you get your coconut coir at home, you'll get something like this or like this depending on which size you select. This is compacted dried cocoa husk and all you have to do is to submerge it in water, it will absorb the the water and here's a tip use your hands to break it apart it is the best part and it will be ready to use for your plants then we're going to add two parts of warm castings for nutrition two parts of pumice for drainage and here you can also use perlite but they're both great for drainage now if you do use perlite make sure to soak it in water before you use it because perlite is really dusty and we don't want to be breathing all of that dust and my secret weapon when it comes to transplanting right now is this one right here is called Myco Bliss. Myco is a beneficial fungi that will help us prevent shock in the new environment for our plant and it also helps with healthy root growth. Okay, so let's get to repotting. After mixing our potting mix, we're going to add the first layer to our pot. This first layer will provide the support from below to the roots. Then we're going to take our plant out of the pot and massage the roots out of the soil. Do this very gently because we don't want to damage any of the roots, but make sure that you do massage that soil out so they have space to breathe and to hold to the new potting mix. Now we're going to place our plant inside the pot and here what I always recommend is that you place it at the center of the pot so then you can add soil around all sides and she has support on all sides. Okay, now we add some soil. I always like to pat it down a little bit, just not so much so you still have some fluffiness in the soil but you also have the support around the roots. Now we water so everything settles in and we are done. I'm very happy with the result here, it looks really pretty and as you can see it has lots of support which is great because it was falling a lot before. So I hope that this is going to be good for her. If you reported with me, I would love to know your experience. So make sure to comment below. I would love to know how it went for you. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Okay, adios.